Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Gunther Imperium. So, we have Gunther in the game. He is this weekend's contest poster for Flash Feud. And, uh, let's, you know, take a look at him real quick here. He is a focused modern era technician. Trainer at 6 star, 26k. Purple gems do 40% more damage. Purple moves start with two more MP. Um, there's a lot of triple purple users like out of the Judgment Day ones that just came out. Um, bunch of people that use purple moves. Um, Tech Brett, six star, triple purple, um, stuff like that. So pretty solid trainer, a lot of uses uh, for uh, posters people are using. Uh, link, Smackdown Link, any color move start with one more move point. Modern Era, gems do 5% more damage. His stock Imperium gear. Uh, the strap. So I played him on stream, on the champ stream. And people wanted to see him with 100% gem damage uh, ultimate strap that I had. So to counteract that, I removed this slot for the metal. Uh, so this would be the equivalent of Double Fury with about a 25% uh, strap. Gem damage strap. So it should be pretty close uh, to what you'd see with a decent legendary strap. Um, also, skill plate we're going to be using is the very standard aftershock plate. Whenever you break three or more green gems, get three red MP at the end of your turn. Everyone has access to this skill plate. And there's a the last build I'm going to run, which is probably also my favorite, uh, takes huge advantage of this plate. You need it to make it work. So... Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, no crazy move damage medals this time or anything like that. Uh, first set is triple green. I'm not sure I'm going to pronounce this right. Gojira Clutch. 10 MP submission. Place three sub gems. Do 200k for three turns. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems of strength 20. Half Nelson Suplex. 7 MP green. Deal 136k damage, choose 7 Multiply Gems to destroy. And the Thunderous Chop. Deal 7 MP green, deal 160k damage, increase the strength of your Multiply Gems by 10. For this one, All Heart Skill Plate wouldn't work. You're only placing 3 Sub Gems. Um, Sheik Plate would work. So there's that. Entourage for this. Uh, if you want to be ready, um, you need to have your stuff set up before you start your video, Merix, if you want to be ready. Anyway, uh, in Feud, this will get you 9 MP to start, which puts you 1 MP short. Um, and you can use Bailey, you can use um, Tyler Breeze here, uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Bailey gives you some extra move damage, so if you have Bailey, uh, you should definitely be using Bailey. Um, Santa, and then Lacey for green uh, gem damage. So, apologies for not having that ready to go. I thought I did. Um, but yeah, so you're going to be one short in feud, except the first feud of the month when people don't always have max defensive perks. A uh, little works a little bit better there, right? Uh, you, you would start ready to go with the sub, uh, or if you have a line bonus. So, let's take a look at this. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to assume you don't have max perks, so I'm going to swipe the first turn. Even though they're all going to be loaded, they wouldn't be in a in a feud where you have max perks and they have max perks. Uh, so we're just going to do a swipe to start off. Wouldn't really matter what it was. Um, so yeah. Then you would go to your sub here. And you really don't want them to match your sub gems because those turn into beefy boys. Like that. That is the one thing. You could run uh, Sub Reduction, then you won't drain your opponent at all. Uh, but this is the one problem with this build, is if your Sub Gems get destroyed, you're a Sand Panda. Um, and the Sub Reduction coach is Champa, if you were wondering. And these work out to 1.3 million. And it does obviously refill all of your moves. So, that 1.36 million, if you had three of them, that would be, uh, like, 4 million damage. Uh, so you're probably going to win if they both stayed out on your second cycle, but 
they don't always stay out as you just saw. So it's definitely an issue with that build. Not my favorite. That's why I ran it first. Uh, I wouldn't use this one personally. All right, next up is uh, a little bit more interesting to me anyway. Let's get the move set up. We're going to keep that destroy in, but then we're bringing in two blue moves. The single leg Boston Crab and the last Symphony. Just reordering these properly. So the sub, 6 MP, blue, deal um, 156k damage for four turns, generate 40 random sub gems. They turn into silence gems. Then we have this juggernaut gem. Deal 122k damage, choose one gem to make into a two-turn juggernaut gem. That will make 15 random silence gems into multiply gems of strength 15 on every countdown turn. And then on the last turn, it increases your green MP by 7. Obviously, if you have someone like um, Striker Goldberg, you get two of these. Uh, so you would be making 30 silence into multiplies. Uh, yeah, kind of good. Loadout. There's two different ways you can run this. Um, you can run it this way and have more destroy. Or you could put green MP trainer in steel here. And then destroy would be loaded right after the sub instead of having to do a swipe so you have both options um i can run it both ways for the purpose of this i do have it set up this way but i can actually put uh, steel on there and show that as well actually i wouldn't need to uh, i could just remove pain or i could just choose to destroy seven multiply gems instead um should work too uh, I, yeah i would need to okay so maybe I'll do that. Anyway, put this on a gem not likely to ma be matched, which is usually a loot box gem for the AI. And then just chuck your random gems. Four turns, so we're going to get a little bit of a drain. Uh, this one, you could absolutely use all heart. It would buff purple and green gems. But because it's random, this is kind of tragic. We missed a green multiply altogether. You guys know how I feel about random, and that can happen with this spell. The second swipe fills the green um, with the MP from the Juggernaut. And then uh, blues to recycle, greens for damage. But basically you're destroying, um, at this point, pretty near all of the multiply gems um, on the board. With no greens, that hit for 5.8 million, I think is what it said, reduced to 5.2 million. Uh, obviously, recycle pretty easy, uh, so not bad. There is that one swipe in between there that's worth noting. Now, if you don't want to take that swipe and you're okay destroying less multiply gems, just toss steel in for Kane. And then you don't have to wait for that swipe. And I can show you what that is, and I really should turn this to 1.25 speed. Apologies to everyone who likes it at that that I missed to start because I have it on two. So let's just throw in steel um, and show you what that would look like and the damage, the, the less amount of damage you would do. So this one after the sub you'll be ready to destroy. Added bonus, uh, if you don't uh, wipe them out, the next turn the destroy would be loaded again, since you're not choosing all of them. So that's an added bonus for this one. Looks like initially a little bit better chance for some greens. Four turn sub, so you're going to get a decent drain on your opponent. And here come the multiplies. Now this time, instead of um, swiping, we have this loaded and ready to go. You could also look to make cascades every once in a while uh, that might potentially set up. If we had a multiply gem here, we could drop that, for example. Um, but we don't. So greens and purples, if you had all heart, would be the way to go. 
make sure you get at least one blue to recycle, um, etc. Right? And then the green would obviously be loaded again uh, right away. And that still hit for 4 million. So not bad. A little bit faster. That's probably also going to win on the second cycle, but not need that swipe. So really, that's probably the better way to run it. Uh, maybe just doesn't look quite as sexy. Also, having to use two MP trainers, maybe you don't have them available for feud. So a lot of times, maybe you only want to use one MP trainer instead. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this is blue double green. So the shotgun dropkick, 6 MP blue coming in. We've seen both of the greens, the destroy, and then the submission, the uh, Gojira clutch. So the blue move we're bringing in, shotgun drop kit, only 6 MP, deal 126k damage, increase your green MP by 9. So we're going to keep Lawler, and because the, the submission gems are so large, um, instead of Matt, Demon Balor is much better. And Dexter at 45% um, would be better than Demon Balor. Uh, if you had Dexter 6-star, that would be who you'd want to use here. That would get you an extra 7%. Uh, and then we are going to go with uh, Hall of Fame China for blue and green gem damage. Um, if you're... All, again, all heart doesn't work on this one, so... And we're going to keep Miz on there for 15% to all of the multiplies we destroy, um, which are ideally going to be green. Um, so again, Lacey may be better than Miz. She's 20% to greens. Uh, so you could use Lacey instead. Shotgun dropkick gets us loaded right away. Does a little bit of damage, and then you're going to go right into the sub. Ideally, put them on greens, obviously. Uh, in a pinch, you could toss one on a blue. If for some reason you thought all of your greens were going to get matched or there were no greens on the board, uh, you could put one on a blue, and that would get you recycled again as well. Um, in a perfect world, we will keep all of them on the board. This time, nope, we only kept one again. That's pretty consistent for me. So again, I'm obviously not gonna love this build either because, you know, I don't like using the MP, the sub turn down guys, because it sort of defeats the purpose of the drain. Again, you could use them. Um, I would use a different build, you'll see where I get. Good news is we're refilled. Um, most hit for 1.1 million, so that's a 3.3 million hit. Um, probably three cycles like that, though. Okay. Uh, these next two are my favorite two. And they're why the skill plate is on. Single leg Boston Crab. Last Symphony. And the German Suplex. I believe the only one we haven't seen here is the uh, the German. Yeah. Uh, 6 MP, deal 124k damage, choose 6 gems to make into green. Um, and then, of course, Last Symphony is the Juggernaut, makes the silence into multiply, blah, blah, blah. Entourage, we're going with Sting and Lawler. So all of the moves will be loaded. You could also use Butch instead of Sting for the red MP. And then we're generating all the green gems. Uh, so Zombie Ray for three more. And um, Scott Hall, Hall of Fame for two more. That's five extra greens. So that's the build set for this. And uh, this one and the next one are quite good. You could use um, you could use all heart for this. You might be thinking, but it's not nearly as good as using the aftershock. And I'll show you why. 
Just right now you might be thinking, hmm, how are you, what are you going to do here, Merix? Well, first thing I'm going to do is put this in the corner. Second thing I'm going to do is hit the sub. Keep in mind this turns our silence gems into multiplies strength 7. Also keep in mind that when you sub, we don't move the pin bar. So usually, you're going to have a really good amount of pin bar to work with here. You might be thinking, Merix, why are you saying that? Well... We are going to make a 5 match. Um, and you want to stay away from 15 times. That should be safe. And then set up a three swipe of green. Um, after that, put some green gems on the board. Have some fun with it. Uh, I didn't set up a green swipe because I'm a bad, but I have one here as a backup. Um, so what that does is the three red M P from the aftershock fills up the choose again. Now I'm going to take my swipe. And cascade endlessly. So I'm running that again because I did it very poorly. Um, then you choose into all of the 15 time gems and hit really hard. Uh, we hit really hard with me uh, totally through barring and messing it up. Um, so there's that. When you can't choose gems properly. That was definitely a five and a three match. They were just all connected. Plus side, if you do that, the sub, you know, I drain them. So there's that. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Hopefully you guys are buying it. Juggy Jim down. Subby subby coming. Four turns of the Boston Crab single leg. Be clear. Okay. All right. Now we do a five match and a three match properly. The five match gives us three red, and then the three swipe will give us three more. Do, 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 and let's go here. Did it again? No, I can't. Yeah, I did it. I can't. Yep. Apparently, I did it again. Whatever. One, two, three. You guys ever seen Tin Cup? Um, this is Tin Cup. I'm doing it again. And this is really not good gameplay. It's not hard to do. Done it a bunch. It's just really, really bad gameplay by Merix. Is anyone surprised, really? Probably not, if you've seen many of my videos. Hopefully I at least get the concept across of what this is supposed to do properly. Uh, all fairness, I do like the last one the best. But I, I did like this one before I started doing the preview.
That gives us three red MP. I can't swipe that because the wild card went there and it'll cascade the blue. Oh, game. Why? 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 As you can see, the second three refills the red. And then you would choose into all of the times 15s you would have on the board, uh, which would be significantly more than I currently have. Like so. Of course, if there are any blues, you just four break into those. Any reds, you do into that. Um, so that you can refill, not that you would need to, um, oh yeah. Anyway, that hit for 5 million with hardly any of my stuff there, so, uh, it's about an 8 million hit when you are a better champions player than Merrick's. So, final moveset, this is my favorite. And we're get mainly probably because we get to use the chop. And it doesn't require any rare plates. And, uh, you know, I didn't mess it up during stream, so. You know what that means. I'm going to be 100% on Cascades. I believe at this point you all have seen all the moves. Same principle as what we just did, except we can add more gem damage, uh, multiply damage on with Demon Valor, because we don't need um, to load the green, because we're going to do that naturally. And then on top of that, we get to use the buff to make beefy boy gems. Beefy, beefy boy gems. Also of note, Ray is currently generating more uh, multiply gems, so the more greens you have, you could actually potentially get 14 multiplies out. Don't know that he's always going to generate more multi-gems. Uh, that's up in the air, so do consider that when you see if I have 14 multiply gems, which is difficult to have that many greens out there. Uh, but usually you're going to have 8. And we can have as many as 14. So this is all turn 1. Gonna put the juggernauts down over here. I'm gonna choose a five column on the left side. Just gonna drop a wild card right down here, which looks relatively safe, so it probably won't be. And I am gonna set up a three swipe over here, which will load the choose move again. Now I want many green gems on the board, as I previously alluded to, the more the better. All right, step one, no cascade. We're halfway there. Now we take our three swipe, no cascade again. We're all the way there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got one extra. Um, now you buff them so they're X17. You can go ahead and, and put your juggy gem down again. Yeah, huh? Now we're gonna choose into these. Each one of these is 775k. Was 9 million reduced to 7.6 on turn one with a plain Jane plate that's about what he would hit for uh, if Ray wasn't making extras so 
So let's see if we can get some more greens on the board this time. Doesn't always happen, so it's not really consistent. I don't really see it being too big of a deal on this one. Sometimes it hits a little bit harder than this because you get them multis out there. Doesn't always. Like I said, it may not always stay that way. Um, so usually I try to not plan around that when it may change. Left side looks good again. Let's not change it up. Hardly any green gems, so we're probably not going to get much more than eight anyway. There's our three match. Maybe we'll drop some greens in too. No, we dropped purples in. And blacks. Purples and blacks we dropped in. Merrick's can cascade out of nowhere. Hmm. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, game. Because of that, we also didn't get our second swipe. So if you cascade... This is what happens. So this is perfect because you can see the bad uh, as well. Um, what can go wrong once in a while. Also, I should have put more Juggernaut gems out. There's no reason not to. It turns reds the second time around, by the way. So now we have green and red multis on the board. We now have the green match. Be very big. So you know what this means is I'll be running this one more time, yet again. Um, I've done a fantastic job of showing what can go wrong sometimes, but won't very often unless your name is Merrick's. Hmm. I think the game knows when I hit the record button. It really is. I feel like I've got the concept over anyway, if not the gameplay. Although that's the first time I've cascaded that ugly, um, dropping six from the sky. Um, since I've been trying this. So usually you'd still be able to get your three swipe in and reload and stuff. Uh, if you only cascade three. It is what it is though, right? It is what it is. Also, I was secretly hoping to have a bunch of greens so I could show you a bigger bop. But, it's all good. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. Definitely don't want to leave the double here. And then... We match here, and don't want to leave a double there. Okay. I knew it. Rage inducing. Ah, I even dropped a loot box one in. Although it's fine, this I can at least show the same thing. One, two, three. Uh, there we, oh, that only did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That only did the eight that time. Interesting. I wonder why I had more green gems, I thought. Whatever, it doesn't matter. This is more accurate. Two, four, six, seven. No, that's nine. I can't count. No, that's eight. It's totally eight. I don't know. I just make videos. I don't actually know what's going on. There's probably no way you enjoyed this video. If you did, though, let me know in the comments. Um, and remember to like, subscribe, and share, because that does help me out. Although, why you would do that right now is beyond me. Um, let's take a look at Gunther, where he fits in on my roster, and that sort of jazz. That's 8 million damage. You're going to do a lot of 8 to 12 million damage into you, um, turn 1. There is the Cascade Chance, that's fairly common. Zombie Dom has the 
to get pinned negative to him. Um, Sammy's a couple cycles. Scott Steiner, the stun thing, is a couple, three cycles. The green sets a couple cycles. Fairly normal when it comes to Tex. Uh, so let's take a look at Tex. I'm missing Scott. He's still on my roster, uh, but I'm missing him. And who else am I missing for Tech? I don't know right off. Oh, Zombie HBK, who I really like his training ability. So Walter's training ability is solid. Uh, Scott's would be solid. Uh, Sammy's is, is solid. So those are all really good. Dom's is incredible. Um, as far as a fighter, I, I like him more than DX Triple H. Um, like I said, Dom has the downside with him. Uh, Dom can hit harder. But if you get pinned, you're completely boned. So there's that. Um, Sammy is probably my favorite right now, even more than Scott. I think a lot of people like Scott more. I just have fun with Sammy. I think uh, Walter's basically similar, just depending on play style and what you like. Uh, fairly similar is speed-wise, damage output-wise. And same thing with Scott. Again, I think it comes down to preference. Scott with the stun set. Um... Unless you meet anti-stun, you're never going to lose. The purple set's probably going to take you three loops, uh, maybe. And then the green set is much very similar to Sammy's green set, right? So really, I think it boils down to preference. I think all three are great. Dom has the highest top end out of any of them. Uh, the pin thing bothers a lot of people if he gets pinned. Um, Walter, you know, obviously you can cascade. And then Sammy and Scott got the tricolor green sub thing. Um, Scott also has his other build. So I think those are like your kind of your techs here. Zombie HBK fits in here um, as well, who I don't have. They're they're better than... Those guys are the best, I think. Who am I missing? Wish I could get there quickly. Uh, -bum -bum. Make sure I'm not forgetting anyone. Mention Zombie HBK... Yeah, I think we're good there. So, like, better than Razor, sure. You know, better than um, pretty better than everyone else. Those are the top guys to me. I think he's better than DX Triple H, like I said. Um, and that's kind of where where I'm at on it. Um, yeah. I would say he's better than these all the rest of these guys. So, and right in the same range. So, yeah. We got a new Gunther. He's really good. He's got a solid training ability. I like him. I did a really horrible job, um, but sometimes that's the way it is in the game. Nothing always goes perfect. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. That really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate all of you. The comments, the views, the likes means a, means a lot to me. So thank you very much. Um, have fun this weekend, and good luck out there.